everybody. How are you guys all doing? I hope that you guys are all doing amazing. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Tracy and you're watching me here at Tracy Monster on YouTube. You can also find me at Tracy Monster Savings on Etsy as well as on Instagram where you'll find a ton of really super fun money savings challenges that will help those of you who are looking to add to your sinking funds or for those of you who are looking to pay off debt or for those of you who are looking to save money for that next big purchase that you have coming up in your life. But before I get started in today's video, I always like to start my videos off by saying thank you to each one of you for taking the time to click on that play button and giving me the opportunity to share these types of videos with you. So thank you so much for being here today and thank you so much for being a part of my YouTube community. With that being said, let's go ahead and dive on in into today's video because I need to figure out my week three for the month and my week 20 for the year. And I am three weeks now behind with cashing, uh, with stuffing my cash envelopes. <laughs> so last week when I did my, um, my budgeting to figure out how much I need to save and budget for. I said, oh, I'm gonna be here at the end of the week and I'm going to do my cash stuffing for two weeks. Well, that week, week two, has obviously come and gone. I had some uh, some stuff come up and I just was not able to get to it. Uh, so we are now on week three of not stuffing my cash envelopes. I have the cash, I just haven't been able to sit down and actually do the video. So this week I have to do it. I have to do it. And even if it's uh, something where uh, I do the cash stuffing video before Friday, uh, that may be something I might have to do because I do have plans on Friday. Uh, it's just been really busy, guys. I mean, seriously, so, so busy. And I know that usually my schedule is like Monday at the latest Tuesday to put these videos up. But then Friday, possibly Saturdays, or Fridays, no, no later than uh, Saturdays to do my cash stuffing. But my Fridays and my Saturdays have been so dang busy. And then on Sunday, it's like, I'm just so exhausted that it's like, that's not what I want to do on a Sunday is to sit and make a video when, um, you know, my husband is here and he's watching the TV and then there's traffic going in and out of the room that I do these videos in and it just becomes a thing and so uh, that's why I don't do videos on Sunday but anyways so let's go ahead and uh, let's get started on uh, this week again we are working on week three for May and this is going to be is it week three or on we are are we on week four uh, I think we're on week four aren't we Oh my gosh, what are we on? It says week three. Hmm, let me check. Let me check what, what week we are on. See, man, this just really messes me up when I'm so far behind. So we are on week four. We are on week four, not week three. Holy moly. Okay, let me look at my calendar here on my iPad. So we are on week four week four for the month and we are on week 21 week 21 for the year i wrote it down oh ha, ha. i wrote it down on this piece of paper right here i just remembered <laughs> i was reading i was reading my cheat sheet right here from the previous week <laughs> so this is where we're at may 22nd Week four for the month, week 21 for the year. <laughs> All right, so now that we've got that squared away, let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, so the very first savings challenge that I'm going to be participating in today is the uh, Etsy sales by state. And so when I look at the states that are not colored in, and I take a look at the sales that have come in so far for 2023, uh, I have one person that was able to fill in a state that hasn't been filled in yet, and that was Carrie from Wyoming. So thank you so much, Carrie from Wyoming, so, so much for your purchase. You are the first person in the state of Wyoming to purchase 
uh, a listing from my Etsy shop at Tracy Monster Savings. And because you were a, because you purchased from that state um, for the first time this year in 2023, your name is actually going into the state right here where you are now representing your state as the first buyer or purchaser from uh, Wyoming. So thank you so much. So um, let's see, we still are looking for now, we only have three states left to fill in. So I'm looking for Alaska, Hawaii, and South Dakota. So if you live in any one of those three states, and you are looking into saving money and helping your sinking funds in your uh, during your savings journey, then head on over to my Etsy shop at Tracy Monster Savings. Take a look at the different listings that I have available. And if there's any listings in there that you find could be helpful, then I would be so grateful if you um, purchased that listing. And then when you do, I put your name down in one of those three states, and then when your name goes in for one of those three states, then I, you're doing me a favor by helping me by uh, saving, I have to save $5 using the savings challenge. So, uh, so anyways, for uh, this week, when I looked at last week's sales, Carrie from Wyoming, Again, thank you so much. And everybody else, even though your states have been filled in, I also wanted to thank all of you for taking the time to go through my Etsy shop and see what I had available. You guys are absolutely amazing and I am so thankful for each one of you. So thank you, thank you so much. So for this week, I will be saving $5 for the Etsy sales by state. So let me go ahead and write that down. So I am going to put the 22nd, is today the 22nd? 20s, today's the 23rd, Tuesday. Okay, but I'm gonna put Monday's date. All right, so we have the 22nd and then we are on week uh, 21 for the year and then we are going to save $5. So uh, my balance is $225. That will bring me up to a balance of $230 in my cash envelope at this at the end of this week when I do my video. So um, again, $5 for the Etsy sales by state. The next savings challenge that I have here is a 52 week reverse challenge where I'm trying to save $1,378 in a year. And so since we are on week 21, this challenge tells me that I need to save $32 if I was saving the traditional way, since we're on 20, week 21, I would be saving $21. But because I'm doing it the reverse method, I need to save $32. Once I have my cash envelope binders uh, stuffed, then I will have a total of $882 saved so far for the year. So that is the 52 week reverse challenge. The next savings challenge I have here is the Paradise Island Savings Scratch Off Board Game. The last place that we scratched, or not scratched, but landed on is here on the $10. So since we still have two weeks to go, I am going to roll one die. And next week I will ro roll one die one time. And if I'm still not finished, then I will roll, continue to roll until the game is over. But since I'm right here, um, I don't think I'll have to roll too many times. So let's see where we land today. So let's go ahead and roll and we rolled a six. So from here we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we landed on a plumeria. So being that I landed on a small image, which is the plumeria, when I look down here, I have already committed to saving for a small image, $15. So let me go ahead and write $15 on the back here. And that is going to be for week four for the month. And that's 22nd. All right, so we have $86 plus 15. I will have a total of $101 inside of my cash envelope at the end of this week. So that is uh, 
let's see, $15 using the Paradise Island Savings Challenge. All right, Bunko Against Time, here we go. I am so sorry, everybody, that we did not, Mari and I did not go live yesterday. Uh, she had to leave out of town for um, her work. And I, unfortunately, woke up to my dog having one of those little prickly stickers stuck, like, literally right here in the back of her, let's see, the left, in the back left foot. And I couldn't get it out. I tried to get some tweezers to kind of like try to tweeze it out, but it was so embedded in the in the fur of her uh, back foot that I'm like, I don't want to hurt her any more than she's probably already hurting because she wasn't. Um, when I, I noticed, because when I went to go feed her, I, my when I wake up in the morning, the very first thing that I do is feed my kids. So um, when I went to walk into the kitchen. They obviously follow me and I noticed that she was kind of like not wanting to walk on that back leg. And so uh, when I started looking a little bit deeper to see what was going on, she had one of those little burrow things like right there in the palm of her foot and I couldn't get to it. I tried to get the tweezers, tried to take it out. She wasn't having it and she's such an easy dog to like uh, to groom. She, she, to take a, like to give her a shower or anything like that. Like she is just so calm and she just, she loves it. But when I tried getting the tweezers, to try to get out, she wasn't having it. She was not happy. And so um, I was able to make an appointment with my vet. And luckily, luckily they had an opening where I can go in very quickly. Cause this vet, it's very hard to make last minute arrangements. So luckily they had a spot open where we can get in and have it looked at. And luckily, the doctor came in and uh, he was able to like open up her, f open up the palm, <laughs> her palm, her paw, <laughs> open up the paw and kind of like separate the little toes while the other, uh, like the technician was able to kind of hold her like steady. So then the doctor could actually get to it. And so then he was able to like get like those little buzz clipper things and he was able to like uh, shave the fur from inside of her paw to get it out. And then luckily there wasn't too much damage. He just said it was a little raw, like her um, skin was a little raw, but that it didn't look too bad. And so he didn't even end up prescribing her medicine, which was really nice. But uh, anyway, so that was a whole thing yesterday morning. And so uh, I apologize to you guys very last minute letting you know that we were unfortunately not able to do our Bunko Against Time as we had promised because these things had come up. And so um, when I got the message from Mari saying that she wasn't going to be able to do it, I still had the full intentions to go on and do it. Uh, do it live on Monday, but then that whole thing came up on Monday morning when I woke up. So hopefully you guys saw my post in the community section um, or uh, show up on your wall here on YouTube that I wasn't able to do it. So then that way you guys weren't waiting for me at one o'clock um, to show up. So if you did show up, I apologize. We are definitely going to be doing it this coming Monday again at one o'clock. Pacific Standard Time. Um, and uh, so, yeah, again, very, very sorry. All right, so let's go ahead and continue on. Um, let's go ahead and do the round of Bunko Against Time because that is something that I do on a weekly basis, whether we go live or I do it in this type of video. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So let me get my three dice here. And hey Siri, turn on two minute timer. Two minutes starting. All right, so here we go. I'm trying to roll four threes this time around. So I have one right there, and I have another one there. I got to make these tallies smaller because I get so excited that I tend to make my tallies super big and then I end up running out of space. There's five. All right. Come on. Oh, we got two threes. That's good. That's good. That's good. Right there. Yep. Two more. Yay. Oh, we're doing good on these threes. That's pretty exciting. All right. Here we go. Right there. 
Let's see, there's another one there. Keep on rolling if you guys are rolling along with me on your end. Make sure that you tally those up. You gotta roll fast because you do not want to run out of time. There's one right there. There. Roll fast, roll fast. Ooh, two. Nice. All right, there's one right there. Ooh, another one. Good. Oh, two more. Wow. Wow, that's pretty awesome. All right, I'm actually doing pretty good with all of these solid uh, single and double threes. I'm not complaining at all. Oh, there's one right there. Okay. There's no one. Wow, look at all these threes. Where's my Bunko at? Or my five of a kind, or yeah, three of a kind that gives me five points. Nice. No. Come on, there's one right there, good. Oh, I'm doing that, I'm counting that. Well, that's okay, I didn't get any points there anyways. All right, hey, hey Siri, turn off two minute timer. All right, perfect. So now what I need to do is I need to add all of these tallies up and convert them into dollars. So we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, plus four, that is $34 this week using the Bunko Against Time Savings Challenge. All right, the next savings challenge that I have here is the $1,000 Savings Challenge. And on this one, um, I am going to, huh, let's see. Do I want to do 20 or do I want to do 40? Um, bu -bu 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 I think I'm going to do 20. I think I'm going to do 40 again, guys. Uh, I think I'm going to do 40. So I'm going to fill in two more cat paws. All right. I think this week might be a little stressful. I think I, I might be pushing it too much, but. We'll see, we'll see, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. All right, so $40 I'll be using for the $1,000 savings challenge, the cats rule the world. And then each one of these paws is worth $20. So again, $40, 40 <laughs> for the $1,000 savings challenge this week. All right, so let's go ahead and um, do our little binders and our mini cash envelope sets here. So this one here is the cute little sloth where um, there are 24 cash envelopes inside of here. They're all laminated. And there are a total of 24 in the set, but there's an additional extra one here, which gives you a total of 25 mini cash envelopes. And when you have all 24 of the mini cash envelopes that are for the actual challenge, then you will save $300. So this extra envelope here is not only the cover, but it is also the tracker. And so um, six and seven have not been stuffed yet, but I've already um, put those on the weeks previous. So this week we are going to be st uh, stuffing $8 inside of our number eight envelope. So let's go ahead, see there's six and seven. There's my one that's already stuffed, two, three, four, five. There's six and then seven. And then number eight, this is my number eight right here with this cute little guy little sloth in the tree on the on the limb so that's my number eight that I will be stuffing for this week and I'm going to turn this over like this all right so this week eight dollars for the cute little sloth saving challenge all right next savings challenge that I have here is the one thousand dollar savings challenge from Tina a pink cloth life here on YouTube pink cloth on Etsy and then pinkcloth.co on her website where I got this binder. This one here is the $1,000 savings challenge. And on this one, um, she has this tracker where every little square is worth $40. And so for this week, I am going to be coloring in this $40 uh, square right here. And then that'll only leave me with a month left to, four more weeks left to stuff, guys. I am almost done with the savings challenge, so I'm pretty excited about that one. All right, so that's $40 with the $1,000 savings challenge. 
All right, so now um, let's go ahead and count our change for this week, or I should say for last week that I saved for. So this is all of the, uh, the money from last week that I have been saving. So we have, oh, get out of there. I have $2 there. Beep, beep. And then 50. Da, 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 da. Okay, so we have 250, 60, 70, 80, 90, three dollars right there. All right, so we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 71, 72, 73, and 74. So we have 374 this week. Okay, so. Go ahead and bring my change tray over here so we can start filling in little uh, little sections here. So we need, let's see, we have five quarters there. So here's five quarters to fill that spot. And then I have five more quarters right there. Pennies are already full. I definitely have to uh, roll those ones uh, this week. That one has five pennies. That one only has four. Um, so yeah, I need to, I definitely need to roll the pennies. I am like really maxed out on these ones. Okay, so I need two more dimes there and then one, two, three, four, five. That one goes there. And then we have four to go there and then two nickels right there. All right, wow, wherever I got those coins from, they sure were dirty. Okay, and my change tray is super dusty. <laughs> I'm gonna have to wash it again. All right, so let's go ahead and put that there, turn this over and write down $3.74 saved uh, for week 21 for the Save the Change Challenge. All right, so now let's go ahead and add our totals up. So I still need to cash stuff May week two, May week three, and that leaves us with May week four. So these are all of the challenges that you just saw me participate in today. So now what I need to do is I need to fill in the dollar amounts into each one of these um, sections here. So let me go ahead and get my challenges all in order here. Bring them all over. <laughs> Bring them all over here. Okay, so here we go. Let's get rid of these binders or little uh, mini binders and uh, mini cash envelopes first. Okay, so um, let's see. The $1,000 savings challenge, that's one's right here because it's the binder. We decided we were going to save $40. And then we had the cute little sloth. That one was $8. And then we had Save the Change, which was $3.74. And then we have the $1,000 Savings Challenge, The Cats Rule the World. That one we decided to save not $20, but $40 this week. And then we have Bunko Against Time. That one was $34. That one was goes right here, 34. And then the Paradise Island Savings Challenge, that one was $15. And then we have the 52 week reverse challenge, that one was $32. And then we have the Etsy Sales by State, which was $5 because Carrie from Wyoming helped by purchasing a listing from my Etsy shop. All right, so now we have one more savings challenge, which is the Round It Up Savings Challenge. So this one here is to help me just push, just to help push my, my, uh, my savings journey just a little bit. So uh, you will save anywhere between $1 to $9. And uh, 
what I need to do is I need to add these two rows up so then I can see what my total comes to. And then depending on that total, it's gonna help me by pushing it up to the highest $10. And whatever that difference is, that's how much I will put towards the rounded up savings challenge. So let's go ahead and take these totals. We have $32, 34, 15, 40, five, eight, 40, and then we have 374. So my total, where's my little cheat sheet? There's my cheat sheet. All right, so my total comes to 177.74. All right, in order to bring that up and push it, just round it up to the, to the highest $10, that would be $180, okay? Because we're rounding $180.74, sorry. 74 cents. All right, so um, let's go ahead and write that down here. 180.74. So the difference between 180 and 177 is $3. So we will write $3 there on the round it up. All right, so that's week 21. $3 is going in and going to be saved for the Rounded Up Savings Challenge. All right, so let's go ahead and calculate this one more time to make sure that I calculated it up um, the correct way the first time and then adding in my $3 to make sure that it does indeed come up to, and it does, $180.74. Now that I have my totals here added up and I have my grand total for week four of May, I now grab that amount here and I carry it over to this savings tracker. From this savings tracker, as I had mentioned, it is week four for May. I am going to write in this amount right here for week four of May. So it's $180.74. So with the weekly totals tracker, when I'm completely done with every single week being filled out, I have one more week, which is week five next week. When I'm done with all of my weeks, I'm going to come back to the savings tracker. I'm going to add all of those amounts up and that will give me my grand total of how much I save for the entire month of May. Once I have that grand total down here for how much I save for the month of May, I'm once again going to carry that amount over to this savings tracker and I will write that amount right here where it says May. So this savings tracker is a great tracker to see visually how much you have saved so far for the year. So this tracker helps you to see how much you are saving per week. This one is a visual to show you how much you have saved per month. And then also this one helps you to visualize and see how much you have saved so far for the year, okay? So when I am done with every single month, at the very end of December, at the end of the year, I will come back to this tracker and I will add all of those amounts up and that will give me my grand total of how much I save for the entire year of 2023. So that is it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you enjoy the savings uh, savings challenges that I participate in and also design. I hope that you like my method of keeping track using my trackers. Uh, if you do and uh, you know you like these types of challenges, then head on over to my Etsy shop at Tracy Monster Savings because I have over 200 listings for you to choose from to help you along with your savings journey. If you, <coughs> excuse me, if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you like the content on this channel, then please don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell. That way is whenever a new video goes up on this channel, then you'll be given a notification and, um, yeah, and then also if you do plan on going over to my Etsy shop, make sure that you give it a follow over there. That way is whenever I upload a new challenge over there, then you'll be given a notification as well. Um, 
I'm trying to put these all in order here. These one, this one needs to go <laughs> right here. So then when I do, um, when I need to take my cash out of my, um, out of my bank, I have this readily available. Anyways, everybody, thank you so, so much for being here all the way to the end. You are all so amazing. Thank you so much for your support, not only here on my YouTube channel, but also in my Etsy shop, in my Etsy shop. Uh, leave a comment down below, even if it is an emoji, because it does definitely help with the algorithm of my channel and it helps uh, kind of to keep the channel going. So I really appreciate you guys with your emojis or with your likes of the videos and subscribing and all, all that stuff. So anyways, everybody, that is it for the day. Thank you so much for being here once again to the very end of this video. Stay safe out there. It is a crazy, crazy world out there, you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.